in our last episode, we got one more look of Athabasca Glacier by doing the hike to the toe of the glacier. From there, we hit the road to say goodbye to Alberta and hello to British Columbia. In this episode, we continue on our journey as we head further and further into BC. Let's go. Welcome to the beauty of BC. There is literally no filter on this at all. This is the true colors and the true views that we are driving right now. Wow. just taken the exit to Kamloops which is our destination for the night we are how far are we oh uh, like three, three hours and 40 minutes we are like still that. three hours and 40 minutes out so we have quite a bit of driving left to do but it is a gorgeous drive so we really can't complain Alrighty, we've been driving for quite a while now um, and as we mentioned we had to take a detour in the way that we are getting into BC because of the forest fires that are going on. We have definitely hit a point where we can see the effects of the smoke from the forest fires. It's a little bit crazy, uh, it's very smoggy, very hazy, can't really see the mountains all that well. So like these mountains and stuff are usually pretty clear, but you can see it's like, and you can't see it in the camera. I can barely see it with my eye, but like there's more mountain ranges over here. in the thick of it <laughs> <laughs> that is true we are in the thick of it um, things are a little bit worse than we thought they were uh, the air quality for the last maybe 40 minutes of our drive has completely deteriorated and we can like literally smell the smoke in our car we can feel it in our throats we've been coughing so the air quality index for Kamloops where we were planning to stay is at the highest it can possibly be which means sleeping in the van even in a Walmart, par Walmart parking lot is really not a great idea because all of our vented air comes from outside so we are a little bit stuck on what should we should do next. Um, our options are to try and find a hotel that we can book but they seem to be like mostly booked up or drive through the night all and just get to Vancouver tonight. Um, we're not 100% sure what option we're gonna go with yet, but this is the current view that we have. If you ever wonder what the inside of your barbecue looks like. Oh my goodness. You can't even see the mountains there. there there's mountains there, but you can't really see them. Those are some burnt looking trees.
Well, that was probably the longest day. We thought that the Saskatchewan day was the longest day, but this has got to be the longest day. We are... So, to catch everyone up, we decided to stay in Kamloops and pulled up to the Walmart, which is usually our safe haven, our bastion of hope. Pulled up and immediately the both of us saw a sign that says absolutely no overnighting. That no is a, RVs, no vans. Yeah, that is a first for us. Um, usually Walmarts have been very good. However, we are now in a Costco, um, which seems okay. Like uh, employees are starting to leave, and there is actually a guy that walked by, looked at us, didn't say anything. So hopefully things are going to be okay. Uh, within that, we almost locked ourselves out of the van because I keep telling Tia that she needs to keep her keys around her neck at all times, and then she didn't. Can I just add that he locked his door and left his key in the ignition of the car. Anyways, that crisis was, was averted because she did have her, uh, her pouch, so we're good. And now we're just gonna wrap everything up. Oh, a van like van. There we go. A lot of people are pulling in, so it looks like this, this should be okay. Anyways. Uh, but we're probably just gonna wrap everything up. Uh, I just wiped out my face, probably gonna brush my teeth and just go to bed. Good morning! We're here in Kamloops, British Columbia. We British slept here. Columbia. We slept here in the Costco parking lot last night because you're not allowed to sleep in the Walmart parking lot. Uh, we were worried about the ventilation with the air quality out here, but I think we're okay. Yeah, I, I feel okay. So, um, Kamloops the city does dip down a little bit and I think that that really helped so we're good but we are up now we're gonna gas up at the Costco gas bar since we're already here and today we're basically hitting the road to go into Vancouver to see Andy's family yeah so we're reaching the 50% mark of our road trip a little bit or sad I'm really excited to see my parents but it's only 25% one week to drive here, two weeks in Vancouver, one week to drive home. Oh, I meant just a trip. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, so Kamloops to Vancouver is only, it's pretty short. It's like three and a half hours or something like that. And um, originally I have planned this route anyways because there is a couple of things that you could, you could have done along the way. Um, we would have hit it from another direction. Anyways. The, the point being, we're probably just going to go all the way into Vancouver since it's literally fire country. We were going through uh, yet yesterday. <laughs> Here, give me that. <laughs> we were going through the um, interiors yesterday and it literally felt like you're in a smoker. It was extremely smoky and we were like feeling it in our throat. Not a good time. So we're probably gonna go straight to Vancouver today. We should get there by around noonish, just in time for lunch. Yeah, depending what time. Depending on what time. Correct. All right, let's get the van drive ready. Okay, to give an idea of the situation here, like, you can, uh, it's hard to see on our white van, but that is ash. And it's floating all around, it's very small, it's floating all around the area. But here's the Costco, and I spy with my little eyes at least another six or seven camper vans so this is a great costco it is definitely a-okay to be sleeping over in this one they we did not get bothered last night people walked by they looked but that was it um, and there's so many other people here so pretty safe 
the lights were on pretty much all night, so you probably want some sort of a sh um, blind thingy. Tia's about to freshen up her breath. And we get gas, get a place to use the washroom, and be on our way. Okay, so we just started the van, and the AC that was blowing out of the vents literally smelled like somebody had been smoking like five packs of cigarettes in this van. That's how much the smoke is up here. That's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Okay, we're about an hour. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. We're about an hour. Bless you. Oh, <laughs> We're about an hour out of Kamloops, and if we thought the smoke in Kamloops were, was bad, we were wrong, because whatever section we are driving right now, it is back to like real bad. Like visibility is horrible. Um, the smoky smell is filtering into the van again. We can feel it in our throats. Like they are not kidding when they say BC is on fire. This is really, really brutal. Yeah, back to my uh, barbecue thing yesterday. That's literally what it is. You smell the. You is smell that on the... fire there? Is that oh, fire? Turn around. There is smoke coming out of these trees. Okay, so I think you're actually driving through like trees that are on fire because there is smoke coming out of these trees. We just pulled into a rest stop so Andy could use the bathroom. I saw that there's like a little concession snack stand over there. I'm hungry. Of course she is. We like have barely eaten in the last two days. I don't know why. You're not hungry, but I'm hungry. I'm gonna get some food. <laughs> Okay, I think uh, I bought food with my stomach and not my brain. Um, <laughs> I got us a sausage, a Black Forest ham sandwich, and then last minute I decided on this cup of candy too. Not the healthiest choice at all, but <laughs> I went for it. Tia has not been the greatest at buying stuff. We went in, uh, I asked her to go into a gift shop to buy a sticker. She came out with a sweater <laughs> and like three stickers. <laughs> Andy says we are at the tip of the tip of what? We are at the highest point of the Coquihalla Highway. The highest point of the Coquihalla Highway. Yes. So, for those of you who don't know, Vancouver, although mountainous, a lot of it is pretty much at sea level. So, for for example, Richmond, BC, is at sea level, meaning we have to descend quite a bit before we make it into the lower mainland. And uh, over the last, uh, I don't know, like hour and 20, we have been climbing, 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 climbing. So we just hit the tip of the climb and we're now going to be descending into uh, what's called the lower mainland. All right, another cool thing you'll see on the highways of BC is these runaway lanes. This is for if trucks lose control going downhill, they have a lane that goes uphill. 
so they can slow down. I've never seen a runaway lane used in real life. I've only seen it in videos, but it's pretty freaking crazy. Andy has seen one in real life. Yep. Honestly, don't don't mess around with weather. Uh, we saw it when we were driving in the winter, and the car decided to go like, well, it was way too quick. Saw it lose control, and it ran right up that uh, runaway lane. We have arrived. This was our final destination in BC, my parents' house, which is B <laughs> Redacted. Uh, yeah, um, we made it. The house is awesome. My dog already got uh, hair all over the place. <laughs> Tia? I'm excited. We, we finally are here after how many years and lockdowns and not being able to see Andy's it's family. Been two years. It's, yeah. it's really exciting. And we drove our van across more than half of Canada so far. I know. Right, anyways, uh, that was just a quick update. I and think this will probably close out this vlog. Yeah, pretty much. We probably won't do anything for today or maybe for a couple of days. Who knows? But we'll bring you along as we explore Vancouver. And we also have a very fun surprise coming up in a week. We're not going to tell you what it is yet, but it's coming up. All right, T and Andy. Out.